Hi, it's Michael Dennis from Next Step Agency, and I'm here to demonstrate for you today the Motor Genie with the Motor Genie app. Basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to go through some tests on a motor. We're going to input the numbers that we get from the tester into the Motor Genie app, and we'll get a report. And I'll show you how you can save a report, share a report, that easy. Okay, so we're going to demo the Motor Genie here. I'm going to open up the app. I'm actually going to be recording this as I work on this. We're going to add a new test and we're going to get started. I'm just going to put that up out of the way. We're going to start off with this test over here, which gets us our impedance right off the get go. I'll add in 107 and we're on, we're on 23, so 107. Our phase angle is 61. And press test. We'll see. IF is minus forty four. And now we're on to the next one. So we switch over one three. So minus forty three was our IF there. And we've got 107 for the impedance again, and 62 for the phase angle now. Okay. So now we're going to go to 1, 2. So I'm going to switch the red over here, and we've got 110 for our impedance, 62 for the phase angle, and minus 43 for the IF. Wonderful. Now, we can do our phase balance. We'll head back up to the screen one here. I'm going to look for the highest number as I rotate this. Looks like I've got 111. I'll switch to... One three, it's also one eleven, and we'll do two three. Which is also one eleven. So that's a good sign that they're all reading at that same, we're looking for the highest value here for phase balance. So we can just take any of these numbers. So we're going to take the 2, 3. We're going to get it at the 111. We're going to hit 0. Now we're going to mark that down as a 0 here. And we're going to go to 1, 2. Looks like we've got a 4 for our percentage, and then we're going to switch to 1, 3. Looks like we got a 3. So, that's another good reading on phase balance. Let's go to resistance. Connect the red and black leads and press zero. Okay, so we actually have to connect them together like this. So we get a zero reading. And then we can connect them to any of the leads here. So we're going to go one, two, and press okay. Twenty-four point seven. Okay, we're going to go one, three, okay. Twenty five point oh, and we're going to go two three. So I'm using the app here. You can use paper and you can do this manually. You just need to know the values a little bit more off the top of your head. 
So 25, and that one is also a good reading. So, the only test we have left to do, we head back, we're going to do the insulation test. Now, for the insulation test, it's supposed to start off, for the insulation test, you're supposed to start off measuring both connected to ground, so we have zero, as we should. So we just take the red and we connect it to any other lead on there. And, hold test, 500, exactly what we wanted. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is you need to put in what your test frequency is. So that was 200 there. And everything is showing fine here. I'll quickly name my motor. And this is the, I'm putting in the part number and zero faults because this is a switchable fault motor. We can use it to test what faults look like on here. So, hit back, everything looks good. I can hit the test button here. It'll tell me good windings and connections. And then I can save it. It's now saved on my phone. I can also generate a PDF and email. Now the PDF has all the information on it. And then I just select email from up here. And I'm recording on an old phone, so I don't have an account set up on either of these. It basically makes it an attachment that goes right into your email client so you can send it out. You can immediately send it out to, uh, if you have an account where you want to just get all of them, it'll send that attachment and then you'll receive it in your email. So that's it right there. Nice and easy. In the history, I've got the test that I just did right there, ready to go. And you can save a test there. And that's it. We've got a working motor. We've sent the results or we've saved the results and we're good to go. I'm going to do another video with a fault and I'm going to have that saved separate just so these can be short videos you can look at when you have time. Um, and we'll go through the whole process again. We'll find the fault. It'll show up on the app. It'll be great. Subscribe button to the right here. Be sure to click that and we have our next video suggestion on the left. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.